I'm going to show you three different ways to add a pre-edited video intro to the beginning of your Facebook Live to give it that polished, professional look that will cause your viewers to tune into your live stream show and not the other guy's live stream show. Stay tuned, it's Be Live. Hey, welcome to Be Live, the number one place for Facebook and YouTube live stream tutorials. I'm Owen Video Pop. Video intros are an essential part of any good video content strategy, dating back to some of the best videos of all time. And video intros are still incredibly effective for a Facebook live stream show. The problem is they're too long, underproduced, and self-glorifying. So if you're gonna add a video intro to your live stream, it needs to follow a purposeful structure that keeps the viewer watching and actually makes them a part of the show. Because the live stream show is all about the viewer. That's why today I'm gonna show you how to add a video intro to your Facebook Live so that you can start it at the right time, stop it at the right time, and you can even play it again. Let's start with the setup. Since Facebook won't natively let you upload a video bumper, just visit epiclivevideo.com and get a free trial of BeLive. With BeLive, you'll get a whole suite of live streaming tools like overlays, the ability to add guests, sell products, and more, including the ability to upload a pre-recorded video intro, and they give you a couple different ways to do it. As an example, we're gonna use my video intro bumper that looks something like this. And now we're gonna add it to our Facebook live stream. The first way to add a video intro to your Facebook live is as a native file. To do that, simply log into your broadcast room, click add media, select your video intro file, and wait for it to process. Now this could take a few minutes, so be sure to give it some time. Once the video has fully processed, then add it to the in-stream timeline where it's just you and the camera. Click solo to put the camera on you. And when you're ready to play the bumper, click play. And then click solo to bring the bumper full screen. But it's so easy. This is by far the fastest and most reliable way to add a video intro bumper to your Facebook live stream. But, and I emphasize this but, you need to give the file plenty of time to load before going live. And it does take a few minutes. And the file size should be less than a minute. So if you're in a bind, you might wanna use this next method, method two, and if you really wanna increase the production value to make it look smoking hot, then you probably want to use method three, which is coming up right after method two, add a YouTube link. To do that, you'll first need to upload your video intro onto YouTube as a public or unlisted video. Once uploaded, then copy the link to that video and go back into BeLive. Click add media and paste the link there. Instantly, you'll see the YouTube video appear. So now you can say your opening statement and then play the bumper. This method is really fast, but it's not very pretty. The YouTube link feature is really designed to show longer videos next to you while you're presenting and be able to comment on them and use them as teaching tools, which is a radical feature. So even though you can use this method to play your bumper, there's a much better way and we call it method three. And this method adds a polish to your presentation that will make your live stream stand out in a sea of dull, boring live stream. So if you really wanna look professional, use method three, the screen share. Since your video is already on YouTube, you can use another great BeLive feature called screen sharing, where you can play the video on YouTube and then screen share it into your live presentation. Now, this technique will give you a much smoother transition, but also more control over the experience. It's gonna look seamless. Here's what you have to do. Step one. Upload your new intro into YouTube and view it full screen. Wow, this is an adventure. Step two, go back to BeLive in the upper left-hand side and click the screen share icon. Add the full screen tab and add it to the stream and you're all set up. Now, when you're ready to go live, you can deliver your opening statement here, then click the solo button here to play your video intro. Then when the bumper is over, click solo to bring the camera back to you when it's all done. Now, this method has a few nuances and a couple quick moves involved. So doing this literally makes you a live stream ninja. And as such, you should practice it a few times before you go live. You can even use my favorite 
be live feature, the test broadcast feature. Plus, learning live stream moves like this is going to make you a better live streamer than the next live streamer who is probably just going to rush through it. Now, if you want to learn even more about how to be an expert Facebook live streamer, then watch this video next where I'll share with you another crazy tactic for growing your Facebook live stream show. I'm Owen and I'll see you there.